Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Bohemia Interactive Simulations. Today we're going to talk about the VBS4 training battle space. This battle space is designed to train uh, trainees on how to do VBS4 operations, such as moving their avatar, interacting with vehicles, and using their weapon systems. Before we jump into the battle space, I want to talk about the documentation. Uh, if you click on the top right, the question mark icon brings up documentation. And what you can do is you type in training battle space and you'll see that the first result is uh, the documentation on this battle space. The reason this is important is this tells you how to install it, uh, of which it's covered in another video. Uh, it also gives you the capability to link to other documentation. So in this case, you can see for amateur movement, take a look at um, this page and it gives you the controls, it gives you pictures of what it looks like, so on and so forth. So with all that being said, now let's take a look at the scenario. The first thing to do is obviously select it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to load up in the editor because there are a lot of things in here that could be useful to scenario designers. Uh, so uh, you could just load it uh, directly into the scenario in multiplayer and allow other people to connect by pressing X cube. But for right now, we're going to do edit it. Uh, let's say we want to do the same scenario at nighttime or different weather conditions or other things like that. All right. So now that it is loaded, um, we can see that uh, there are objects placed, but most importantly, there are bookmarks. So if I select the different layers of bookmarks, it'll show uh, the different, obviously, layers. Uh, so I can see all the construction elements, uh, all the triggers, uh, and all the mission objects. The reason that this is important is these are this is a great way to kind of structure your scenarios as you build them. Uh, so that it's easier to manage, especially if you have a lot of complex moving objects uh, in close vicinity to each other. Bookmarks are a really helpful tool. Um, so with that being said, we can uh, fly the camera around, but in this case, let's just preview it. So press the preview button. All right, so now that the scenario is loaded, you can see that we've got a couple of icons to our front, but most importantly, on the top right-hand side, we have uh, basic controls overview. So in this case, uh, it says, you know, press W to move forward, S to go back, uh, A and D to go left and right, respectively. Um, and you can see over here, uh, we have infantry movement, infantry weapons, and vehicle driving. These arrows represent locations that you can run to that'll teleport you to specific vignettes. The numbers represent how many players uh, are there. So in this case, if there is zero out of eight, because I'm currently doing it in single player, but if it was four out of eight, that means there's four players out of eight available slots in that area. So let's just run to this location and do infantry movement. It'll take a second. The screen of black will say it's moving to destination. And then it'll teleport me to this location. So you can see that there's a return to hub icon to our front. Uh, and on top right, it says this course will teach you the fundamental controls. I'm going to go to third person just so you get a better idea of what it looks like. Uh, but it says move to the first obstacle to begin. So you can now see it says press X to crouch. And let's crouch and get through this obstacle. All right, we've done it. And then press Z to go to prone. So now we're crawling under it. Press C to stand up. And again, you can see it gives you more information about what else you could do. So the benefit of these scenarios, I'm not going to go through all of it. This is something that you can give a trainee um, access to, and they can learn at their own speed uh, in a networked environment. Uh, it's also important to note that um, as a the editor, you can administrate from this perspective too. So maybe, um, you know, someone's having a hard time controlling an avatar. I could position the camera to see how my trainees are doing. Uh, in this uh, facility and offer them assistance if necessary, but it is not required. So with that being said, uh, this is a overview of the training scenarios. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Um, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us uh, via our website or via our email or social media. And thank you very much and have a nice day.